So my name's Yasmin El Derby. I'm the festival director at the London Mena Film Festival, which is the London Middle East and North African Film Festival, which is launching in October 2011. Really, it started over a, um, a casual peppermint tea with a friend of mine. Um, we were just having a chat about the fact that Arab film isn't really shown in London. Um, so that friend is Motin Larkim, who is now the director of development at the film festival. So um, it came from that really, just us talking about it to um, me contacting some filmmakers just to see if people would be interested. And it's just, it's taken off from there really. Firstly, from a personal level, um, I'm make, I make up the part of the diaspora myself being half Egyptian and half English. Um, and secondly, just because I don't feel like these films got really have a platform at all in the UK, in London, to be shown. So I thought it was quite an important, quite an important region to, to focus on. The eyes of the whole world are on the Middle East and North Africa at the moment. So I think it probably, I think it will help in the way that people that may not otherwise have been interested to go and watch an Arab film might now actually be interested because, um, I mean, the changes that are happening in that region at the moment is just fascinating for, for anyone. So I think um, it's definitely a, going to be a driving force. And I think also it means filmmaking is changing in that part of the world. Everything's changing in that part of the world, but I think there's a lot of new films that will be coming out that will have a completely different tone from films previously. From the region, um, uh, the Lebanese film Caramel, um, also the, the Jordanian film Captain Abu Raid, and probably the Egyptian films Microphone, um, which was from 2010, and The Traveller. Um, so from the region, those would probably be my top four. That is quite hard. It's quite hard to narrow down. Um, films in general, I would say the Mexican film Amoris Peros, which I love. And I also am a big fan of Woody Allen's Vicky Cristina Barcelona. So those will probably be my top ones. And now I'm going to think of a million. The Middle East and North Africa film industry historically has a very big, it's a very big, well-established film industry. So, I mean, historically filmmakers didn't, need to or necessarily want to um, make their films to cater to an outside audience which meant subtitling wasn't that common. I hope the film festival will be an opportunity, a platform that gives people an opportunity to see film that they might not normally get to see. Um, I also hope that the film festival will bring together um, not only the diaspora in the UK and people living in the MENA region, but actually the diaspora together in the UK, because I think it can often be quite disjointed. Um, so hopefully through the medium of film, we can bring a lot of people together. And I hope also we can dispel some, maybe some stereotypes and misconceptions that some people might have about the region. Okay, so the films that we're showcasing at the launch in October, we've got a number of different styles of films, genres of films. We've got um, a couple of shorts, we've got a couple of documentaries, we've got um, a feature film, we've got comedy, um, and they're from spanning across the region. We've got um, an American Egyptian film, we've got a couple of Egyptian films, we've got a couple of films from um, the Emirates. Um, so we've got quite a, quite a range.